Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's June here. I'm now back in it with another video. Now, as you guys see in today's video, I will be showing you guys what's the fastest method to get to power level 150 very fast, and it's very effective. So before we get into the video, if you guys are good to enjoy it and you guys liked it, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell as well, so don't miss a video, and always be notified when I upload a video. And most importantly, make sure you guys hit that like button. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. Alrighty, so this was a highly requested video from you guys. As I stated in my XP video, I will be showing you guys what's the fastest method on how to get to power level 150 fast. If you guys did show support and I saw the comments, so I got y'all and got a return of favor. So first things first, there are two steps when it comes to this. There's the regular way and there's the power level grind way. So I'm gonna be showing you guys the first step, then the second one. So first things first, when it comes to the first step, you have to complete the campaign to unlock the Reign of Supreme mission chain. And a part of this mission chain is the mission that you have to do to get your power level up, power level up fast, which is the vaults. Now, vaults have uh, have chests inside of them. They have a lot around. I can say they have like six chests in total in each vault. It depends on the vault itself, to be honest. If I, when I really think about it, but vaults are the most effective way to get your power level up fast. Now, at the end of the video, I will be showcasing all the routes that you gotta take for each power um, for each chest in each vault, so you can you know know where to go. So I'm letting you, letting you guys know that now so if you guys want to skip to that you guys can if you want to but we finna get into it now so as i stated you have to complete the reign of supreme to even get through this first so first things so you got to complete that so the second part is do not put do not upgrade your gear when you're opening up these chests for uh, when you're in the vaults because the way it works um if you the current power level for your gear that you have when you open up a chest it scales it up so you get a higher piece every time you open up a chest so do not put your upgrade modules inside of you know the loot that you have um, until you get to power level 130 that's when you can go crazy with upgrade modules and everything so that's the first things first when it comes to that one now the second part is your major artifact now if you guys are no major artifacts count as 10 extra um, power level for your just your overall power level so say for instance your power level 130 if, when you level up your major artifact if you have it at level 10 you go to 140 so you have to get your major level uh your major artifact up to level 10 uh with polys now to do that you gotta go to you know either uh you know either post outpost you know the helicarrier the end hill or substation zero and get the daily missions and once you complete those missions you get the poly to upgrade your um your major artifact so that's how everything works when it comes to the first step on overall on how to just get the easy way out when it comes to leveling up and just getting your power level, power level up to 150. So the second part, which is where you just power through it. This is the power grind when it comes to getting your level up so fast. And that's how I got my Hawkeye up to level 150, probably in like a day or so, probably less than that. So first things first, you need DNA chain, DNA keys. So DNA keys are dropped from elite villain sectors. So currently right now, the elite villain sectors are, once you can first complete them, then they disappear from your map and then you unlock, only unlock them through the dailies. It wasn't always like this. You were able to farm them up and they did this change recently with the Hawkeye patch, which I do not agree with. So it may be a little bit slower when it comes to getting your power level up, you know, just powering through it. So that kind of hinders it a little bit, but overall just unlocking the NHS will get your power level up super fast because dnhs have a uh, higher chance to drop legendary gear and also um a purple minor artifact as well so you can just keep going crazy with it and it also scales up a little bit higher as well when it comes to power level so that is a way that is the second way on how you can really power level and those are the two ways when it comes to just leveling up overall i know it's pretty short but it's really that simple and easy y'all it really is how to get your power I will level up really fast. Now, as I stated at the end of the video, I will be showing you guys the routes so you can know where to go, where to unlock chests at, where the DNA chests are, at, or, and everything. So, as I stated in you know in my steps, you know, um, complete the Reign of Supreme mission. Uh, you got to complete the campaign, then you know just unlock chests and do not put upgrade modules in until you get to power level 130. And yeah, as I stated for the second method with DNA keys, DNA keys is probably the most fastest way you can unlock um, get your power level to 150 because you could also you open up two chests. 
So two chests worth of getting gear that scales up is really good compared to one. So that is basically on how you get your power level up to 150. So as I stated, I'm going to let the video rock out with open with um, just showing you where to go to open up all these chests. But um yeah, I, re I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video as I enjoyed making it. Uh, before we head out, if you guys are not, make, the, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to turn on post notifications and then miss a video and also be notified when I upload a video. And most importantly, make sure you guys hit that like button. Now without further ado, I hope you really enjoyed today's video. Enjoy these. Uh, just you go see basically where to go when it comes to these chests. And um, yeah, have a good day. Peace. Your signal detector should pick up a shield frequency when you get close to its location. Scout out the area ahead of you to locate it. There is a chest with gear close by. Proceed to the designated location. Search through this area to find the location of the vault. Your signal detector should pick... One of our shield allies nearby could use some help. Director Fury didn't mark this shield vault on any official map. The only way to find them is by using the signal detector. Look for a chest with gear nearby. If you want to find the location of the vault, you should scout the nearby area. When your signal detector there up ahead when your signal detector picks up the vault frequency follow it to reach the vault location There is an elite aim unit near you. Defeat them and you may gain something useful.
helicopter should pick up a shield frequency when you get close to its location. Scout out the area ahead of you to locate it. Don't these guys ever learn? No, oh, pal! Do your words, please! Proceed to the designated location. Look for a chest with gear nearby. chest containing special resources nearby. There is a chest with gear close by. There is a special enemy unit close to your location. They may drop something useful if defeated. If you want to find the location of the vault, you should scout the nearby area. signal detector should pick up a shield frequency when you get close to its location. Scout out the area ahead of you to locate it. Heads up! We got company! Wouldn't want to be in your shoes. Search through this area to... Proceed to the designated location. There is a chest with gear close by.
knight in high-tech armor and gear. Thanks for having my back. Look for a chest containing special resources nearby. If you want to find the location of the vault, you should scout the nearby area. There is a special enemy unit close to your location. They may drop something useful if defeated. One of our shield allies nearby could use some help. So long, pal. There, up ahead. Look for a chest with gear nearby. 